What a week this was for Big Fish Games. It started off disastrously with, with Area 42, which can only be described as a terrible version of Key, a game I kind of enjoyed. But we followed that up with Fantasy Mosaics 26, Fairy Tale Garden, which was an entry in a genre I didn't even know existed. It's a, it's a logic puzzle where you make pictures based on the game telling you how many cells get filled in in a row or column. And I gotta say, I've only ever seen this as a mini game in hidden object games, but I loved it right away. So yeah, I bought that one. Next up was Jewel Match Royale 2 Rise of the King, which I'm not in the market for another match three game, but if I were, this is absolutely the one I would get. It's pretty fantastic and, and fully featured for a match three game. Then right after that, we had Alicia Quatermain and the Stone of Fate, which is the first time management game I've ever liked. Now you might say, hey, he just really likes publisher Jet Dogs because they made Sinister City and a couple of other games he likes. And I would say, yeah, I do have a fondness for that developer, but I don't know whether it was the art style, the music, the fact that it wasn't needlessly overcomplicated. I had a really good time playing the game and I, picked it up as well. I probably shouldn't have. I'm picking up too many games is, is the thing that's happening here, which I'm sure is what they want to happen with their demos. So bravo, big fish. But anyway, next up, Grim Tales, the time traveler. Again, wow. Uh, great premise, great art, good, really good hidden object scenes. I'm, I'm psyched to play more of it soon. Then we had Grim Facade, the message, which was also incredible. You got a psychic detective, well, you're a detective and you get psychic help from a ghost, but there's a murderous cop running around, an evil conspiracy. There's so much going on in this game that I'm desperate to find out the rest of the story. Finally, today, we had the best game of the week, Donna Brave and the Deathly Tree, which is about an evil tree made of ice that has cursed a whole household. I mean, this one is from Madhead Games and they just do a great job. Their cadenza was incredible. And this is also just amazing. Looks great. Plays wonderfully. Yeah, there's a lot of emblem hunting. But what are we here for, if not that? The puzzles are good. The hidden object screens are good. Like, this is, I mean, it's close. This is top five games I've played so far this year. Maybe top three. You know what? I'm going to say number four. Anyway, it's the game of the week. And it's amazing. All right. Uh, so that was this week in Big Fish Games. They were all really good, except for Area 42. But Area 42 was just a legendary disaster. All right, I will see you back here next week for another weekly recap and join me every day for a stream of the new Big Fish game. But until then, au revoir.